Hello everybody, my name is Matt. This is George, my California king snake. Uh, I picked him up just about two months ago. Uh, so far he's doing great. Uh, I am a first time snake owner. Um, and I am really, really loving the king snake species. I have a few friends that have pythons. And um, I really just wanted a snake that was going to be a bit more active, you know, uh, show a little more personality. And it um, turns out that this, this snake has just been absolutely wonderful for me. He's just a baby. Um, so, I'm, so I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. And, um, and uh, today I wanted to show you guys a few things that I like to do with him, uh, you know, as far as his enclosure goes. Um, you know, a few, you know tips that I found useful for caring for them, and um, uh, hopefully y'all find it as helpful as as I have. I'm going to put him in his little deli cup right here so uh, he doesn't crawl away from us. I'm going to also put this lid on. Okay. So as a disclaimer, I do not want to uh, portray the fact that I am an expert on keeping reptiles. I am most certainly not. Um, I do have just a passion for it, and that's about it. Um, I've got another, uh, Chinese water dragon over here. There's a, there's a pink toe tarantula down there. I've had geckos in the past, but this is the first time that I have ever owned a snake. So I'm, like I said before, I am very excited, and, um, I just, I just wanted to, uh, to give you guys a little, uh, bit of an insight of, um, I, I have essentially watched most of the YouTube videos on California king snakes, and um, and I have kind of uh, compiled all of the best I thought you know this is all my opinion best tips into uh, one video, and um, and you know this is kind of my uh, my exact setup here. So uh, let's start with the enclosure. So um, George is just a baby, so his enclosure is pretty basic. Um, you know this is also quite a bit of a budget guide as well. Um, it's not anything super fancy, super expensive. It's absolutely all just budget, very basic. Uh, his enclosure is a 20 gallon fish tank. Um, he does have a uh, reptile mesh lid here. Um, you could find these fish tanks and lids just about anywhere. Uh, Walmart, Petco, PetSmart, um, you know, any of your basic super stores. Um, is probably gonna have one for a pretty cheap price. I think I might have gotten mine for about $60. I think the lid was about 20. So, you know, comparing it to an Ecoterra or anything, you know, like a custom enclosure, like this is very, very affordable and, um, you know, very effective as well. And I'm gonna go into detail about, you know, a few of the things that I use along with this to make sure that it's safe. I picked these clamps up off of Amazon and um, these aren't very useful at the moment because, um, you know, he is so small and he's not going to have enough force to push out of this, um, push that lid up. You know, he's he's only about a foot and a half long. So these are for a little bit later in his um, adulthood. Um, they are very effective. Um, um, and I'll show an example of what you'd typically find at like PetSmart. So these little clamps don't really do the job. They're quite flimsy. They don't exactly fit most tanks. They're, I suppose they're not mismarketed, but they're just really not that great. If you wanna just take a look here. Um, so you're supposed to I believe, I'm probably doing this completely wrong. And, um, but uh, you just clip over the side like that. Oh Jesus. And yeah, and it just kind of stays put and, you know, you can't lift it up or whatever um, with as much um, ease for sure. But these um, these clips off Amazon, they, they come, you know, as a pack of two and uh, they're just about as expensive as these small clamps here. And uh, they're 20 times more effective. Let me show you. So, so you just put it over the top like that. And then, so this bottom part is gonna latch on to the bottom of the tank here. And um, man, you cannot lift this sucker up. It is really heavy. So, um, you know, a snake is gonna have a lot of trouble trying to get out of this thing. Um, and uh, it's it's just, honest to God, like probably one of the, uh, the better investments I've ever made in this snake enclosure. So there's that. Um, 
As far as blinders, I'm literally just using cardboard. Um, I've cut out a few boxes and I've used packaging tape to tape around the area. Um, so, you know, he feels safe. He can't see outside. He's not going to bump his head on the glass as much. You know, he's going to be uh, feeling safe and secure. You know, snakes are secretive creatures, so they do like their privacy. Um, now let's move on to uh, heating elements. So... So basically what I'm using up here, you know, is your basic, uh, uh, geez, uh, 250 volt light, uh, it has a 40 watt bulb in it. That's UV, um, just the, uh, whatever, whatever the UV is for sunlight. I think UVA, it might be UVB. I'm not quite sure, but, um, but yeah, that's what I have keeping his hide warm. Um, I do also use a heating pad. Uh, you obviously can't see it, but it is plugged in down there. You know, I have a cord going around the back here. Uh, it goes right under his hide. And the reason why I use both of these is um, I, I picked a low wattage bulb, so it's not going to be too terribly hot in there. But um, what I wanted to create the effect of is whenever I turn this light off at night, you know, I, I do want the ground to feel residually warm from the sunlight. So I do have his heating pad under there, you know, under a very deep layer of aspen so he doesn't get too terribly hot. And, it, and that's going to create the sort of effect of, you know, the residual heat from the, uh, from the sun warming the ground up. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. This is a very budget naturalistic enclosure. So it seems to be working very well. He absolutely loves it. So... All right, now we have the um, the uh, temperature reader. So, so what's really cool about these is I actually also got these on Amazon. They are, um, I think, well, fifteen bucks for a pack of four. Um, you know, they're basically just these little pocket-sized uh, humidity and um, thermometers, hydrometers and thermometers, and uh, they are. Uh, you know, absolutely awesome. I've, I love them so far. So as you can tell on this side, it has a lot less humidity because of the heat. Um, it, it'll show the, the temperature up there on the top right corner. And on this side, it's obviously a lot cooler and the humidity is a little bit up. It is a little dry in there at the moment. So I'll give it a few spritzes later. Um, but, but this way I can get a reading of the hot side and the cold side, because what most people do, and you could tell I had one here at one point, I just had an analog thermometer hygrometer, uh, telling me just the basic, um, you know, temperature and, uh, a humidity level of just the whole enclosure and I put it in the middle so I can divide it in half but this way you know I could see exactly what's going on in there and um, it might seem a little bit of obsessive but hey I just really care that much about my snake's health so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, move this light out of the way and so I can show you what's going on inside so like I said you know this lid just comes right off really basic stuff so, so far we're sitting at about maybe, <coughs> I don't know, a uh, hundred bucks for the entire setup I have here. It's really not that, really not that crazy right now. Um, so what king snakes typically like is this aspen bedding. Uh, you can use paper towels, newspapers, um, any of that stuff works. Um, I choose to use aspen bedding because um, <coughs> it looks more, you know, naturalistic um, it's still very easy to clean. It's not, um, in any way, uh, you know, an eyesore to look at. It's, um, you know, it's, uh, it smells decent. It's, it's not like, you know, hamster bedding or anything like that, you know, and the snake loves to burrow in it. Uh, he, he loves, you know, just to hide himself in just this loose aspen here. And I keep about two inches, um, uh, you know, of a layer in there so he has the opportunity to do that burrowing if he wants to. Now here on this side, my uh, water bowl, it's, uh, you don't have to use a water bowl like this. Any certain, you know, specific water bowl will work. You know, your typical deli cup down there, you know, um, you know, kitchen bowl. Uh, I do recommend, however, uh, I, I found it very useful in my case that you get a water bowl that doesn't tip over easy um, because once this uh, snake gets bigger, uh, he's, you know, he's very active and he's going to want to, you know, move around a lot and, you know, go swimming. So, uh, so he's going to tip that water bulb up over pretty easy and, um, 
and yeah, so I just kind of have this like corner fit. I think I got it at like PetSmart or Petco or something like that. Pretty basic. Um, here I just, I literally just have some fish tank ferns that were in my old fish tank at one point a long time ago. You know, I've disinfected them and washed them down and uh, they kind of serve as like kind of a tropical uh, shade spot for him. If he wants to get cooler, you know, he can go hide under there. He likes to do that a lot and he can go swimming as well. So this is, um, this is essentially, you know, the tropical side. So, and here I have this hide. Um, it's, uh, I believe I got it from a reptile, uh, reptarium. And um, again, you don't have to go out and buy a hide like this. You can just, you know, cut a hole in a plastic bowl, you know, but just make sure that, you know, the snake has, you know, the security. The hide is probably one of the most important aspects to owning um, a snake because they, like, again, they are secretive creatures. They do like to get away from everyone. And, uh, you know, just uh, get warm and digest their food and, you know, do whatever. <coughs> so, um, I, I believe I, I paid, oh, geez, maybe $20 for that. Uh, still keeping it under the $200 range, so we're doing very well. Um, I got these tweezers off of Amazon. Uh, they came in a pack of two with these uh, curved ones here. Um, these straight ones I find to be a lot more... Uh, uh, effective in feeding. It's just me. I, I like it a lot more. And, um, you know, down here, so this is the brand of Aspen that I've, that I've been using so far. I literally got it from Walmart. It's about five dollars for a, um, you know, a compressed bag full of this Aspen. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really great because, you know, I, uh, if I do want to clean the entire enclosure and get rid of all this Aspen and put in fresh new Aspen, it's not going to cost me, you know, an arm and a leg to do that. With most substrates, it's going to be, you know, quite expensive, especially your eco earth or, you know, your organic substrates. It's going to run you a couple bucks. So I have that and, um, and I'll put links to all this in the description so you can find them yourself. But as you can see, you know, this is, uh, this is what I was using for the, um, hydrometer thermometer i just had it kind of uh you can still see where it was stuck at one point i had it right here you know and um it works you know and it and it does a great job at what it does and um you know it is to give you a relative uh sort of uh you know humidity and temperature but i did want to do a little more and i i uh i wanted to be able to monitor both sides so i got these little you know, uh, digital reading, uh, temperature gauges and, uh, hydrometers. And, uh, so far it's working out fantastic. So now I'm going to take George's little dilly lid out of here. He's tired of being a, uh, a tuna sandwich. And he wants to go back in his enclosure where he is going to go. What's he going to do? He's probably going to go in his hide. Nope. Oh, and there he goes straight away. So yeah, everybody, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, I hope this uh, this video kind of showed you a um, you know what's what's required for a basic setup, and um, I hope you're able to take advantage of what I've learned from watching you know the hours and hours of videos um, surrounding you know care for king snakes and you know certain things like that. Um, maybe in a separate video, I'll uh, show them eating or you know doing funny stuff or whatever, but, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching.